I am here at my computer, got my computer glasses on, and I'm going to show you how I use Wild Ginger Pattern Master software to make a pattern really quickly. It has a lot of advanced features, but this is really simple. I have this lovely Heather Gray t-shirt knit, a little heavier than a t-shirt knit that I'm going to make some pants and a top out of, and we're going to make the pants. Okay, so this is the software when you first bring it up, and we're going to make some pants. And it starts out here, you just have a whole selection, and I'm just going to pick a classic pant. Next, uh, semi-fitted. Next, I'm going to do a drawstring. Next, uh, there's not going to be any kind of closure. These are going to be pull-on pants. Next, um, I want them a straight leg. Next, and there's no hemline, no anything going on there. Uh, no, I don't need a squirt. It's going to be pant length. I want some inseam pockets, and let's preview what we get here. There we go. There is the design, so that's done. We're going to draft because I need to tell it what kind of stretch this fabric has, and it's a stretch fabric. I measured it out. It should be good. That changes how much ease it's going to be. And if I change it, let's say if I make it like a super stretch, they're going to get skinnier. See? Because my fabric would have more stretch. But this I measured, we're just at a basic stretch. And that's it. You can get some very basic instructions. If you have anything too complex, you really need to know some basic construction or maybe even advanced construction techniques. That's a quick, quick look at Pattern Master Software. There's a lot going on with this software, and it is a learning curve. It helps to have either design or computer-aided design experience.